Hey guys, I'm very excited to show you the new refine mode update. Let's create a new file. I just click on a canvas and I search for some sketches and I drop in this sneaker sketch. I just create a quick rendering. It should be something like a, a futuristic sneaker concept made out of fabric and rubber. I use the Viscom general mode with 70% influence and I just hit generate. Okay, we created this base rendering of our sketch. I'm just going to click on confirm and let's head to refine mode and just click on generate at 50% influence. The quality of the refine mode had been improved. As you can see, it actually refined our rendering and it started to add material details. And you can precisely set with the drawing influence scale how much you want to sacrifice from your original drawing and add more details that complements the design. Or you can use higher influence for less added details just like this but I'm going to use this this lower influence one because I pretty much I really like what it did with it and it added a lot of like fabric details which I love and the next cool thing which you can do this way is to create a new layer and use the the new color picker and set some color put it up like this and just just start to modify and personalize your rendering for example if you want to have these elements in a different color or you want to actually introduce some different design features, you can pretty much do that by just painting in with your brush. And I'm just lowering the opacity a little bit to make the original lines a bit uh, get through. And then in the refine mode, I head back to around 50% and I just click on generate. And so this way, Viscom is going to implement my changes in a very realistic way into the overall aesthetic of the sneaker, just like this. And I can confirm it and I can keep adding some other material details if I would want to do or maybe just erase some of the parts like this or just try to play around with the sneaker and add a lot of like features to it. So now in refine mode you can actually refine the quality of the rendering as well and as you can see you can create some very complex and very much personalized renderings by uh, drawing in with your brush and then using the appropriate amount of drawing influence you can create very very high quality concepts this way and the other very cool use case of refine mode which i find extremely interesting is when you render in for example in the pesto render one i just click on generate and let's see what kind of rendering it does for me okay so we got this pasta rendering let's say we really like this vibe of rendering but the quality and the material details of the rendering is just not not enough then de definitely we can head to the refine mode and just start generating on top of it and it will actually maintain the style and color of your rendering of this pasta rendering just make it a bit more realistic as a sneaker and you can just keep generating with a certain drawing influence just build up your concept while you are maintaining that certain style that you choose as a render style. And as always, feel free to add the certain details and colors that you want to see and just steer the design direction and be in control this way. You can really have this iterative process of AI and human shaping how the sneaker should look like and you can end up with a very high quality visualization out of rendering modes which would not provide that much um, details in the first place. Um, so for example, we can definitely check out the Technicolor 6. Let's use a higher influence like 80% in the Technicolor style because we very much love the stylistic approach of Technicolor. But as you can see, you are lacking some material definition at some places. Just go to the refine mode and hit generate here again and you will have a, a much more defined visualization of that idea just like that and you can keep keep generating until you reach to a point where the added details are just not adding any design value to your proposal then of course you can stop at that point yeah so if you use a pretty low drawing influence we can get away from our original rendering too much but it just adds a more realistic flavor to the whole thing so this is a very powerful way to iteratively build up your proposal so you don't have to sacrifice quality for refinement anymore. Instead, you can actually increase the quality of refine mode and it's a very powerful way of visualizing your idea in a realistic way. So let's see with other examples as well. Let's try one with a scooter, silver futuristic scooter concept. If I use, for example, the Technicolor render mode, Okay, so this is what I got with the Technicolor mode with 100% influence. 
It's a bit rough around the edges and it's a bit blurry, but that is why I can go into the refine mode and just add much more details to the rendering. And just like that, you can see that the, the whole aesthetic stays true to what the Technicolor mode represents, but the material details are just here and it's a much nicer and clearer image of our concept. So it's just a very cool way to boost your original rendering. Let's try this controller example here and let's create a quick rendering. Let's use the pasta render one this time. Okay, and as you can see, the pasta render one has a very strong like pastel color, color influence. So we can get the black, but no problem because we can pretty much like sketch inside on a new layer and just mask some of the components that we want to see black. Just like that, let's head back to refine mode and generate once again. And it will maintain the aesthetic of the rendering, but make it a bit more realistic, just like this. And so this way you can get a very defined rendering out of basically any mode that you're using. You don't have to sacrifice quality because you're not using the Viscom general, but you can add quality with the refine mode. Let's try this last example with a car side view. Let's just create a silver concept vehicle in Viscom general with high influence. Okay, we got the concept vehicle. Let's head to refine mode, drop down the influence a little bit, and let's see what it can add this detail. Okay, very nice. And it tried to add some of the material details and and just overall details that a concept car might have. But this time, let's just steer the direction and let's create some wheels, for example. You can just go in, create new layers. It's very fun that you can just roughly sketch in something and then make it realize with the help of refine mode. So for example, if you want to introduce some design features, just quickly paint it in. I want this entire roof and spoiler area to be orange, for example. I can just do that by roughly painting in. Just like that, silver concept vehicle. And when I hit generate, the refine mode is, it will try its best to integrate my little changes in the refine mode. Sometimes you have to click on this show original to get your rendering. You will get it like this. And it's just a much more realistic representation of what I sketched here. It's pretty spectacular, but you definitely have to like play around with the drawing influence to find that exact number that fits your expectations the best. But you can just give so much fidelity and quality to your to your design this way. So that would be this revise refine mode. It's a great way to build up your, your design proposals with so much fidelity that we've never seen before. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know what you think about this feature and make sure to try it out as soon as possible. See ya.